to the standoff. He is wanted tonight on a felony warrant. A horrific crash on Forest Home in Milwaukee. And this was just a block away from where a woman was killed in a crash just a few weeks ago. Several cars were involved. One ended up wrapped around a light pole. Our Chip Brewster saw the records. Chip, it's amazing that no one was killed here. Oh, it really is amazing. When you take a look at these pictures we're about to show you, you may ask yourself the same question I did. How on earth did everyone survive? I saw somebody, two people li lying in the street. It was a miracle and, and they're very fortunate. Pictures like this typically involve a news story where the number of people killed is reported. Not this story, however, as against the odds, everyone involved came away with non-life-threatening injuries. It is very amazing. It's amazing to me that anyone survived um, that accident. Karen Iverson was working near the intersection where the crash happened. Another stroke of luck for those involved as Karen and many in her office happened to be nurses. Somebody came in the office and was yelling uh, they needed nurses out there. Around six nurses from the Deaconess Home Health Branch ran out into the street where they found two teenage boys lying on the ground. A third had walked away, an amazing feat in itself. My first instinct was that somebody had to still be in there because it was just didn't look like anybody could have gotten out of that vehicle and so I still don't really understand how they were gotten out. Police say the Red Dodge Caravan was speeding southbound on 35th Street just after 12:30 when its 16-year-old driver blew a red light at Forest Home Avenue. The van was hit by a car going east on Forest Home, causing the van to spin, strike a truck, and then wrap itself around the light post. The driver and two teenage passengers were the only ones injured. All three will be okay, thanks in part to the nearby nurses. Oh, it's just another day's work. I mean, it's just what we do all the time, helping people. As we mentioned, all three teenage boys that were in that van were taken to area hospitals. Police, however, did not have an update on their conditions, only reiterated that all three had non-life-threatening injuries. Live in the newsroom, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. Amazing at that. Okay, Chip, thanks. People whose cars were stolen wondered what had happened. Turns out